Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, children of God. You are most welcome once again to Waves of Revival Online Fellowship. May God bless you for being there. Just share the video and welcome many people as you can. And as you welcome, as you, as you are welcoming people, receive your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. We are not doing our business, but we are in Christ's business. And someone who is doing Christ's business, then his boss is Jesus. Then he will reward you and he will reward me too. Just let us reach nation by sharing this broadcast and welcoming people. Just share to friends, share to groups. It will not take you even a minute sharing to five or three people and God bless you. Welcome to the lunch time. I know wherever you are, you are taking your lunch or you are in your resting time. May God bless you and may God keep you and may God sustain you. I want just to welcome somebody so that we may have time and pray together with you. There is a God who answers prayer where there is a man to pray. He just asks you who are foolish to understand that we can fail to pray and then we complain that God is not do. God is willing to help somebody today and God is able to do what men are not able to do for you and for me too. Just join us as we pray and as we enter into a moment with God. It is a time that you will never found anywhere else. It is a time that God is giving you. You are not the best that you will see this broadcast at this particular time. But God has the word for you. He wants to encourage somebody. He wants to take somebody to another level. He wants to bless somebody. He wants to change somebody's life today. So that, that, that's, that, that, that is why God is bringing you to this broadcast at this particular time. Just share the video and welcome many people as you can. Welcome many friends as you can. God bless you. Oh mighty God, almighty God, almighty God, almighty God, almighty God, almighty God. Kera bazu petala, o rabashi andea bahandea. Oh mighty God, almighty God. Share, 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 share. And will come many people as you can. O rabashi andea bahande, reko tori ababuzi mamandea ba. O rabash Children of God, wherever you are, just welcome the God, God's power to your house. Welcome God's presence in your house. God is willing to help somebody. God is willing to change somebody's life. But it will take your courage so that God will do what He wants to do in your life. Share the video, welcome other people, do the work of evangelist, and let us reach many people today at this particular time. There is a word for you today. There is a word for you today. There is an encouraging word for you today. There is a word for you today. God wants to speak to you today. He marabashi and Interababuzi pada kadoshkaya rabrozi andi abaha diriribuzi kapata labaha rabrezu pete labaha dirabaji diriribuz or robozi kete diriribuzi kete robozi atera baha rekozi tere diriribuzi katara baba 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 bozi koto robozi andi abaha children of God just welcome people welcome people welcome people welcome people Welcome people, welcome people. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 18 and verses 20 that where two or three gather together by my name, I am in the I am among among them. I am in the midst of them. God is with us tonight. God is with us right now. 
just feel power of God, feel the power of the Holy Spirit, feel the power of the Holy Spirit, usher the power of the Holy Spirit in your house, wherever you are watching right now, just tell a friend to tell a friend that our time is now, just tell a friend to tell a friend that our time is now. We are in the generation of fire, the generation that carries God's power. And we are about to release that power to generations. Father, we welcome your power, we welcome your spirit. Children of God, where the power of God is, all things is possible. Where his presence is, all things is possible. I want to see people who are sharing this video today. I want to see you. If you are sharing, just comment and say and, and, and say sharing, sharing. Then I speak to you tonight, today. The power of God is too much here. The power of God is too much here. The power of God is too much. Oh my God, Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty God. We are that generation that God seeks. We are that generation, Lord, that needs your power. For God, our knowledge, Lord, we've surrendered, oh God. We've surrendered, oh King of Glory. We've surrendered, oh King of Zion. Children of God, wherever you are watching right now, wherever you are right now, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice right now, start repenting, start telling God to have mercy on you. Start telling God to have mercy on you. Remember our today, he that Kenya shall be revived again. We are that movement that needs revival in our nation. We need God to revive us again. For we know what happened, what happened when revival has taken has taken over we know what happened when revival take, takes over we know what happened we know what happened in early church when they when they were revived oh rabre zupe de kadoji malabahandi labahandia rabrozie tiriri buzi karamahandi le buzi priantola ya oh rabuji kanduli bandia baza tarabahandi riri buzi parabaha Father, we are repenting right now, God. We need your mercy, Father. Forgive our sins, oh God. Forgive our sins, oh my Father. Forgive our transgressions, oh God. Forgive our trespasses, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are that nation, Lord, who needs your mercy. We are requesting your mercy, oh Father. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over the nation of Kenya. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over the nation of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we need your mercy, O oh God. Forgive our sins, O oh Father. Forgive our sins, O oh King of glory. Forgive our sins, O oh God. Forgive our sins, O oh Father. And have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us, O oh King of glory. Have mercy on us, O oh Father. We are repenting on the behalf of the nation, O oh God. We are repenting on the behalf of the church, O oh God. We are repenting, O oh my Father, on the behalf of our land, O oh Father. As the Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles, that if my people are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and call upon my name and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Father, we are repenting on the behalf of our land. Lord, we are repenting on the behalf of our nation. God, we are repenting on the behalf of, of Kenya, God. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us, O oh King of glory. Every abomination and all bloodshed, that Lord is crying, Lord, for vengeance. Lord, we are repenting, O oh my Father. We were not there, God, but we are suffering, Lord the sins of our, of our forefathers. Lord, we repent on that, O oh God. We repent on that, Almighty God. We repent on that, Almighty God. We repent on that, Almighty God. Children of God, just to repent together with us. Humble yourselves and ask God for mercy. Ask God for repentance. In the book of Isaiah 6, the Bible says that when Isaiah, when, when King Uzziah died, 
then Isaiah saw God. Isaiah saw heavens open. Isaiah saw God. When this king, when this king died, children of God, remember that there are things that have to die in our nation so that we may see heavens open. So that there are things that have to die so that we may enjoy our goodness. There are things that has to die so that we may see God at work in our nation. There are things that have to die so that we may enter in our, in our seasons. There are things that have to die so that we may enjoy the revival in, in our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, have mercy on us, oh God. We are repenting, Father, the prostitution that has been made, Lord, on our streets. Lord, we are repenting, my Father. We are repenting every wrong things that, Lord, we've made, Lord, as Kenyans. Lord, we repent, Lord, the sin of all foreigners on this land, oh God. We repent, oh my Father, the sin of all politicians. We repent the sins of our leaders. Lord, we repent the sin. Just repent. This is our prayer a thorn, oh God. This is our prayer a thorn, Almighty God. The people repented in the Bible. God had them. They, God had them. And God had mercy on them. And He heals their land. Children of God, there are things that we are looking for. There are things that we want God to do. There are things that we want to see God doing in this nation. There are things that we want to see God doing in this generation. But they will not happen unless we humble ourselves. There are things that you want God to do in your ministry. But they, God will not do that unless you repent. Unless you humble yourselves. Unless you cry and tell God, I am not worthy. I am not worthy. God help me. God forgive me. God have mercy on me. The Bible said that when, Usa, when Isaiah saw God, then he realized that he is with unclean lips. And he cried to God. And God brought a chuckle. Harabazila bahanere prozila kata. And God clean, cleansed his lips. And Lord, then he said, God send me now. There are, one, there are people whom God want to send. There are people whom God want to release for ministry. There are people whom God want to trust with gifts of healing and deliverance. There are ministry that God want to elevate. But because of things that we are doing. And we, are, we don't want to repent. Ah. That is what hindering his power from manifesting. God, we repent today. God, we repent today. Have mercy on this nation. Have mercy on our generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Children of God, wherever you are at this particular time, you are going to usher the presence of God. And before we usher the presence of God, we are going to break all powers. We are going to break all principalities down. We are going to break all demons that is that, 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 that hindering your prayer from reaching God's throne. We are going to pray that, Father, we are opening doors. We are going to open heavens. We are going to open everything that needs to be opened for God to release your blessing. For God to release his power on you. For God to release. Just share. Share out to many people. Welcome others. Welcome others. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. May God bless you. Those who are watching right now. Just let us know where you are watching from. Let us know where you are connecting from. Let us know where you are connecting from. And the almighty God bless you. Let us know where you are connecting from. And the Almighty God bless you. Kadoje kala bahande, robrozi atiri ribozi kanduri abahande. Mr. Kevin, Kevin Marshall, may God bless you so much. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. May God bless you so much. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for connecting. May the Almighty God CPK, CPK, my brother, let us know where you are connecting from. May God bless you. May God bless you. I can see many people are watching. Just share the video with many people as you can. 
share in groups for God want to visit his people God want to visit his people tonight God want to visit his people tonight just share the video and welcome many people as you can the more you are sharing the video the more you are ushering your blessing I can see God lifting somebody from ashes to somewhere else God is lifting somebody from ashes you are you are you are on ashes God is lifting you from ashes and there is a seat that God is preparing for you. If you are listening, my voice say, I receive and let it be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty God. Mandila Bahande Rebozete. Oh Karabozine Bahande Rabaha. My God bless you. My God bless you tonight. May God bless you and God bless you tonight. It takes somebody to, 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 to enter into a revolution and call upon the name of the Lord. The last time we've been talking about revival that ever happened on earth. And I told you that there, there, were, there, there, there are three revolutions. There are three reformation, three revivals that has been shaking the world. There is what we call the Azusa revival. There is what we call, my God, my Father. That Azusa revival started in Los Angeles, where be when a children of God who has the zeal, and they were, they they wanted the Holy Spirit to move and and minister through them. They were willing to be filled by the power of God, and God released His power on them, and God settled His power on them. There were, there, there were a lot of miracles happening in those days. And I tell somebody who's watching me right now, those were 1906. And today, we are in 2022. God wants to revive somebody. God wants to believe somebody. God wants to trust somebody with gifts of healing, with gifts of miracles, with signs and wonders, so that he will be able to release on others and the fire of the gospel will be spread on the, the territory of Kenya and beyond. I want to see people who are willing to be used by God. If you want God to use you, if you are willing to be used by God, then you will open your heart to his power. Then you will release yourself to his mighty power. Then you will tell God, yes God, I am willing to be used by you. I am willing to be used by you. The problem we have is that people, we want God to use us, but we fear the price to be paid. We want God to, to use us, but we fear the price to pay. But it's until you release yourself to the Holy Spirit and you open your heart to the Holy Spirit, then signs and wonders shall follow you. And it is tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Just welcome the Holy Spirit to you. Welcome his power to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are all coming your spirit. We are welcoming your spirit, Father. We are welcoming your spirit, God. We are welcoming your spirit, Father. We are welcoming your spirit, God. Let you have your way in us. Have your way in your children. Those who are watching us, oh God, they are willing to be used by you, Father. They are willing to be used by you, God. They are willing to be used by you, Almighty God. They are willing to be used by you, Father. Now release your power on them, Father. Release your power on them, O oh God. Release your power on them, O oh God. Release your power on them, Almighty God. They want to see you at work, O oh God. They want to see miracles happening. They want to operate in a supernatural way. They want to operate in a higher dimension. Lord, release your spirit now. Lord, release your spirit, Father. Lord, release your spirit today. Lord, release your spirit, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are willing to be used by you, Father. 
We are willing to be used by you, Father. We are that generation, Almighty God, who is willing to serve you, God, who is willing to take the gospel power, who is willing to take the revival to nation. Lord, we need revival. Lord, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. No, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. No, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. Release your spirit on our churches. No, release your spirit on our church, oh God. Release your spirit on churches, oh my Father. Release your spirit on churches, oh God. Release your spirit on churches, oh my Father. By power, by thunder. Release your spirit, oh my Father. And when the power comes, when the fire comes, all mountain will be removed. All mountain will be shaken. And everyone will receive the flame of fire. The flame of fire. The flame of fire, the flame of fire, Lord, let it be to us, O oh God, the same way God it happened to the disciples in the upper room, O oh God, they were willing to be used by you, God, and they waited. Father, release your spirit on us, O oh God. We are praying for nation, oh Father. We are praying for the revival, Father. We are praying for the revival, King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I remember, Father, every 2,000 years, every 2,000 years, there are things that happen. There are things that have been happening in the world after 2,000 years. After 2,000 years, there are things that used to happen. And Father, we are willing to see you doing something Lord in the mighty name of Jesus revive the gospel in Kenya revive the gospel in Kenya Father that men oh God the preachers oh Father will stop oh my father jokes we will stop jokes oh God and we will preach the word we will preach the word we will preach Jesus oh God we will stop joking Father and we will preach Jesus oh God we are praying, Father, that we will stop jokes, oh God. And we will preach the Lamb above all other names. We will stop joking, oh God. And we will talk about the name above all other names. The power that the name that has power to save. Hallelujah. He the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Father, we bless you, God. How we pray, Father, that men of God will be revived again. How we pray, Father, that the true gospel, the true message, God. How we pray, Father, that we will go back to the roots. How we pray, Father, that the minister of the gospel, Lord, will bring you back. Will bring the cross to be seen. We'll bring Jesus to the center of all things. How can we pray that the minister of the gospel, Lord, will bring back the message of the cross, the message of, of Jesus. Lord, how I pray that God, every church on the altars will be stopped. A revival will take place. A revival will take place. Lord, I pray that your children will be revived tonight. Lord, I pray that people will remember of you. That God, you came, oh God. And you accepted everything that, Lord, you went through for the sake of this gospel. Lord, you will remember us, oh God. That God, you paid a lot of price. That, Lord, there is a price that, I, Lord, you paid. Lord, you will remember us, you will remind us, oh God, that God, you pay the price for this gospel, Lord. You pay the price for us to be called Christians born again. Lord, we will not lose, we will not lose our value. 
we will not lose the value of the gospel. We will keep the fire burning in us, oh God. As the early church, oh Lord, did. They walked with you, Father. They were still. They were still. Karaba. Rebo zila brojete robo zokoriba. Children of God. Ah, God is reminding me that the early church waited for the power of God to come. They waited for the power of God to come. And before Jesus goes back to heaven, he told his disciples that go and wait in Jerusalem until you receive the helper, until you receive the Spirit, the, the Holy Spirit. He is the helper that will help you and guide you and teach you all truth. He is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. Our Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy Ghost, we need your spirit on you. Come on us. We need your power, Lord, on us. Send your spirit on us, God. Feel us again. Lord, fill us again with your spirit, God. We are that children, Lord, who needs your power. We know that, Lord, in this world in which, Lord, we are living, we cannot make it without the power of the Holy Spirit. Children of God, wherever you are, I want to see people who are willing to be used by God. And if you are there and you want God to set on you the fire, you want God to set on you the fire, then take time now, take time now, take time now. Just comment and say, God, I need your power. God, I need your spirit. Just talk with me. T -t tell him, I need your spirit. Just tell him, God, I need your spirit. Remember that the, 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 the disciples were afraid, were scared, were scared. That's why they went and they closed themselves inside that, that room, in the upper room, until they received the power. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 1 and verses 8, that you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit. Father, we need the Spirit. Lord, we need your spirit. Lord, we need your spirit to come on us and to set us free from all captives. Lord, we need your spirit to come on us and to set us free. The spirit of God is moving. The Spirit of God is moving. Children of God, wherever you are, just ask His Spirit to you. Just tell God, I need your Spirit. I need your power. I need your Spirit. Receive it, Ram. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take His Spirit now. In Jesus' name. Oh God, thank you, Father, for those who are revived tonight. Thank you, Father, for the fire that is binding in somebody's heart tonight. Thank you, Father, for your spirit tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Children of God, before I enter in my message today, I want to give you the highlight of what happened after the disciples have received the spirit of God. Remember, number one, they, 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 they were full of fear. They were fearing. They were scared. But when the Spirit of God came on them, they stood firm. And Peter said to them, after they, after they asked him, that by whose power are you performing this? 
by whose power are you doing this and Peter stood and said by the power of that one whom you sacrificed by the power of that one whom you killed remember Peter had fear when this young when this woman asked him that even you Peter you seem like you are with this man and Peter refused and he denied Christ by saying that I don't know him and I never been with him I don't know even him I never I, I never even see him my eyes have never seen him even before those are words that came out of Peter's mouth before Pentecost before the power of the Holy Spirit like you also you are watching me you are full of fear God is telling you to do that God he want to send you somewhere God want you to revive your generation God want you to revive your nation God want you to take revival in that small village in which you came from God want to revive your church and your small group of disciples that you are leading but you have fear in you it is until you kill fear in you and what will kill that fear is the Holy Spirit oh, Holy Spirit somebody say I need the Holy Spirit somebody say I need the Holy Spirit Spirit of God come on me empower in my soul Lord change my spirit and Lord revive me again God want to revive somebody tonight God want to revive somebody tonight God want to revive your small church tonight you are watching me and you are you are like you are like giving up I, I came to tell somebody that in this season nothing of giving up nothing of giving up for you one thing that you need is the spirit of god to come on you one thing that we need is the spirit of god to fill us for the disciple when they receive the power when the spirit of god came upon them hey the bible said that suddenly their house where they were was shaken the house was filled of the atmosphere for the presence of God for the Spirit of God was coming upon them and each and every person who are there received the power Kadosh Kadosh each and every person who are there received the power of the Holy Spirit and I came to announce to somebody it is until you close yourself it is until you go somewhere and you separate yourself out from this miserable world it is until you separate yourself and you go to a retreat and you tell God I don't know how many days I will spend in this time I will spend in this particular place but go one thing that I need I need your spirit I need your power we to do wonders we need to be used by God show me a pastor who is not willing that God could use him in because every pastor every minister of the word we all need God to use us we all need God to do wonders through us we all need to prophesy we all need to speak things that will take shape but we don't know and we don't need to seek this god we don't need to seek god we don't need to pray it is until you become a prayerful man then miracles is your food there are things that we are looking for and we cannot get them it is until we come back to the cross and tell god I need to experience the upper room I need to experience the upper room what I pray tonight that everyone is watching me now that everyone is watching me right now there may you experience the upper room may you experience the upper room in the mighty name of Jesus wherever you are right now wherever you are watching me right now wherever you are watching me right now by the power of the
the Holy Ghost, I pray that you may experience the power of this Jesus is so sweet. This Jesus is so sweet. You will not know how sweet Jesus is it is until you experience the upper room. You will not know how good the presence of God is. It is until you experience the upper room. I pray tonight that God will take you to a level. God will lift you to a level where you will experience his move. Where you will experience his power. Karaba and Lord, I need you to experience the upper room tonight. Lord, I need to experience the upper room tonight. Na tangaza tu ya maisha ya mtu. Yeyote ambaye ananifata kule. Ya kwamba bwana ana uwezo. Bwana ana mamlaka. Bwana ana nguvu. Ya kukuchaza roho yake. Yale ambayo unaitaka. Utaipokea. Wakati unaruhusu roho ya bwana kutawala ndani ya maisha yako. It is until we allow the spirit of God to dwell and have place in our lives. Then we shall live a miraculously life. The Bible says that the, the disciples, the apostles could just move. They could just move. Just they could just move. Alaf kivuli yao inaponya watu. Only by their shadow miracles happened. Miracles happened by their shadow. How I pray today after this sermon, after tonight, after these prayers, somebody will receive the power by his shadow will be healing the sick. I pray today that the power of God shall come upon you and you will receive the power and to the strength that by your shadow passing on the sick, they will be healed. Passing on the lamb, they will receive healing and they will walk by your shadow. Passing on the cripple, they will walk by the power of the Holy Ghost. By your power, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we shall do wonders. How I pray today, what we need is the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, CPK. How I pray to you that the Spirit of God may come on you. That the Spirit of God may come on you. That the Spirit of God may come on you. It is until you experience the upper room, then you will come to realize that nothing that you need. You just need His power. You just need His power. Remember this man called a prophet El El Elisha. Elisha. After he has received the mantle from Elijah, what the Bible says, the Bible says that he came back and when he reached on Jordan River, he could not cry or he could not complain because he knew that he had received the mantle and as so long as he had that mantle, whatever he shall, he had his master speaking, he will just speak it in the way will be made he spoke this that god of elijah where are you where is the god of elijah and he 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 he, he put that mantle on the river jordan and the river was plated you split the sea so i can walk right through it my fear is drawn in perfect love you rescue me so I can stand and see I am a child of God. God is treating a sea for you tonight. What you need is his power. One thing that you need is his power. One thing that you need is God's power. Show me a man who walked with God's power and yet he lived a life of complaining. Show me that man. Show me that man who walked with God with the power of the Holy Spirit and yet he complained. Only the generation we are living the life of complaining it is just because we are, we, are, we are escaping. We are running away from God's power. We want to experience miracles but we are running away from God's power. God wants to see a man who is, willing, who is willing to be used by him. 
for God want to bring a revival. I told you that after 2000 years and everything, every reformation that has ever happened in the world happened after a certain chaos, after a certain things, after a certain things happening in the world. And remember, there were a, a very great sickness that were that that uh, that that the, the world faced before the, the before the Azusa revival came, and after that pandemic, God, the children of God, there there were a great awakening that came, and in that awakening, the people of God were filled by the spirit of God. To the extent even even the kids, even children, were filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. And they were able to operate miracles. They were able to do miracles, to perform signs and wonders. That is what will happen to somebody tonight. That is what will happen to somebody tonight. If you are hearing my voice, say, it's me. If you are hearing my voice, just say, it's me. If you are hearing my voice, just say, it's me. Lord, I need your spirit. Lord, I need your spirit. Lord, I need your spirit. Feel my spirit today. Lord, I need your spirit. Lord, I need your spirit. Feel my life today. Rokori prosi preandia. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the power. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your praises. Oh, we sing praises to the Lamb. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised I will sing praises to your name Oh Lord praises to your name Oh Lord for your name is great and greatly to be praised. The book of Isaiah. Open with me the book of Isaiah 60. What the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 60. Lord, I thank you for your presence here. Lord, I thank you for your presence in our midst Kadosh Kaya Isaiah 60 verse 1 Isaiah 60 verse 1 thank you for those who are watching may God bless you I pray that after here God will surprise you after here God will surprise you I give you few hours from now come with testimony his mighty power is here if you are sick before I end get healed if you are oppressed before I end, may God comfort you. May God give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 16 verse 1, the Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. <laughs> Arise and shine. I am talking to those who are watching me. Arise and shine. Oh my God. Arise and shine. Wherever you are watching me, arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory. And the glory of the Lord has come to you. Arise and shine. Children of God, there is a certain glory. There is a glory that is in store. There is a glory. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. 
I want just somebody to know this. That there is a glory that God has for somebody who will arise today and shine. Glory to Jesus. There is a glory that is upon somebody who will arise and shine. And I want children of God to know. And I want the world to know this. God will not hold you to arise. It is yourself who will say, enough is enough. I want to live for this God. And you arise from where you are. And you arise from the pit in where the devil thrown you. And you arise. Children of God, I want to tell you that revival don't just happen. Revival don't just come. There are people who provokes revival. There are people who provokes revival. And I want you to know, children of God, that every revival that we are enjoying right now, there are people who provoked it. There are people who sacrificed their lives for the revival to come. And the first revival came on earth in 2000, 2000 ago. When Jesus, the Messiah, came on earth, the Bible said that he came alone and he lived a life of prayer. All the night he was on mountain praying, seeking God, praying, seeking God, praying, seeking God. And yet he had the power. He was God and he left the kingdom of power. But he prayed for the revival. He prayed for what he wanted to see happening in the world. Children of God, I want you to know wherever you are watching me that revival don't just happen. There are people who provoke revival. And Jesus knew that without the power of the Holy Ghost, I am not able to make it. I cannot do it by my own. That's why I have to pray and seek the Lord and seek the Lord. The Bible said that he ministered all during the day and all the night to on mountain pray. You are on mountain seeking God. But in this generation, we want to see God at work. But we want to, we don't want to seek the power. We don't want to seek the power. And there are two powers on us. The power of darkness and the power of night. If you are not operating in the power of light, then you are operating the kingdom of darkness. Children of God, I have to tell you that Jesus is available. When he died on the cross, he, had, he made everything to be available. And he disponibilized the power that if you want to walk in his power, Power, then you will be a prayerful man you will be a prayerful woman a big church that you see they don't just become big churches the big and great ministry that you see they don't just become great and big ministry there are people behind everything there are people behind everything I want to tell you children of God that we will pray until we pray until we pray and we will pray until we get tired and we will never enjoy the revival it is until people rises it is until men rises it is until women rises it is until children it is until young people we arise and we shine for the glory of god the glory of god glory of god for the glory of God. For the glory of God. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Ha. Somebody say glory of God. Somebody shout it louder. Glory of God. Children of God, I want to, to let you know this. In Uganda, in, 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 the, in, 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 in one side of, of Rwanda, and Uganda came a revival, what we call the Balokole revival, the Kutenderesa revival. That revival came there. And in that revival, even the Catholic people got revived. There is a father in Uganda, a certain father, in, he, he, he was the father, he was a Catholic father in, 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 in Namugongo, if I, if I remember very well. 
that father got fire of the Holy Spirit and he started praying. He started praying. He started praying. He started praying. And then the, cat, the, the Roman Catholics, they excommunicated them. They chased them because they were filled by the Spirit of God. They started speaking in tongues. And after they were just, they went in one side of, of, of Uganda. And that side revival. The revival came there. Revival came there. And everywhere in, in, in the land of Uganda, the revival was spread. And many people got saved. And many people got on fire of the Holy Spirit. That is what I want to happen today. But that could never happen that like that. Last. But there, there were people behind that. There were people who raised. There were people who said, we want to see God. There were people who said, we will pray. We will fast. We will seek this God. And still we see him. I see Pastor Lee saying hallelujah. May God revive you wherever you are. Liz Mwangi, Pastor Liz Mwangi. May God revive you wherever you are. I speak to you right now. As you are commenting, as you are sharing, I speak that revival will come to you. And that revival, Kadosh Kaya, many people will come seeking you. The Bible said that when Jesus was born, was born in, Jeru in Judea, when he was born, there were people who came from far. There were people, there, there were kings who came from far and they wanted to see him. They wanted to see him. I told you, children of God, we are, we are struggling looking for money. We are struggling looking for things that will get spoiled. And yet we are losing the power of the Holy Spirit because we don't know what we need. It is that the generation that we don't know what we need. But once you will come to realize what we need is the power of God, the Holy Spirit that brings revival, then money will locate us. Money will locate us. One thing that I need is your power. God Almighty, one thing that I need is your presence. Lord, come on me, mighty. Lord, come in me, mighty. Change and break change. Revive me again. Lord Almighty. Lord Almighty. Children of God, there are revivalists. One of the revivalists in Uganda who said that they used to go in, in the jungle, in the bush, praying and seeking the face of the Lord. If you cannot, it, it, this great man of God, Pastor Robert Kayanja, he told us that they used to go in the bush. There were many young men and they were willing to be used by God. Know these jokes that children of God we are doing nowadays. So we need God to use us. We need God, we need to be used by God and we need miracles to follow us. We need to operate in supernatural but we don't pray. We don't seek the face of the Lord. We are busy. We are busy in our th own things. Hmm. But these great men of God, they, they said that they used to go in the bush, in the jungle. And when they, before they enter, they could wear nothing. They could wear no, 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 no. They went there with only one cloth. No food, nothing else. And they went. And they went there with, with, with one, one reason. Praying and seeking God's face. Nobody know that there will be what they are, they are, they are right now. With the, no, with no, with no, with, without the knowledge that one day there will be at the great men what they are right now. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. One heaven men see 
Quantos melhor preço Quem me dá preço Me dá Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I'm willing to be used by you God I'm willing to be used by you Father Use me God Use me Father Use me Father I know that my generation needs me I know that my people need me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I bless you, Father. Use me, God. Use me, God. Children of God, I have been telling you that these men went in the jungle. If they said we are entering today, they entered without knowing on which day they will come out. But what is taking them there is prayer and seeking the face of the Lord. They were not scared with the... the, the with uh, with uh, with snakes and other things that could harm them, but they were they, they they were powered by the power of the Holy Spirit, knowing that Jesus is in them is the hope of glory. Jesus in them is the hope of glory. Children of God, there are things that we need. We are looking for. Some of us we are looking for fame. Some of us we are looking for money. Some of us we are looking for uh, many other things that they will not happen until we go back and seek the face of the Lord Jesus Jesus you are the king of Zion Lion of Judah reign Jesus reign You are the King of Zion, Lion of Judah, reign, Jesus reign. You are the King of Zion, Lion of Judah, reign. Jesus reign. You are the King of Zion, Lion of Judah, reign. Jesus reign. Es present, come on Lord. Le gracia, le gracia y amor. Holy Spirit, oh es el lugar. For you omnipotente, le gracia y amor. Holy Spirit, oh yes, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Lord, we need you. Ways of revival, Father, we need you. Ways of revival, Father, we are willing to be used by you. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, come on me, change my love. Today, for I need your prayer and your mighty man faith. It is well when I'm filled with your power. Karabarabazi and Nerebosia Terebos Recoji and Nerebosi Parabados Macandele Brosi Tarabaha Nereprosi Kerebaha. Children of God, wherever you are, just usher the power of God in your house. I feel the power of God is mighty in this surplus. The power of God is, is, is mighty in this place. The power of God is mighty in this place. Hey, my God, and my God, and my God, and my God. 
Rokozoterobozete Reporoboji Karabababababa Mandroboji Troboje Kerebozi Projete Roboji Karebo Rokoroboji Troboji Karabaha Lord I speak revival in the nation of Kenya Lord I speak revival in the nation of Kenya Lord I speak revival in the nation of Kenya Rakoroboji Terroboze Alabaha Lord let this nation be revived now Let this nation be revived Father Rekozi Prozi Terroboze my father and my god we are tired my father to see our people going going out going out of kenya looking for men of god in other nations in other nations lord i know we have many many people we have great and mighty servants of god in this nation no we need a revival we need god a revival in this nation god we need revival in this nation god we need revival in this nation we are praying for revival in this nation in the mighty name of jesus you are the god who revives you are the god who revives ah god i speak revival in the mighty name of jesus you are the god who revives you are the god who brings back to life in the mighty name of jesus lord i am praying right now everything that has been hindering the power of god from moving this nation the mighty name of jesus i nullify now and i break and i cancel in the mighty name of jesus lord i speak your power lord i speak your grace lord i speak the anointing the power of the holy spirit across kenya across kenya kenya receive revival kenya receive revival let everyone hearing the sound of my voice put christ to the center of everything 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 put christ to the center of everything he is a good god kabre mari bra super hadosh ro pro zi pro ze karabaha arise arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine pastors arise and shine servants of god arise and shine ah we have a big god in this land of kenya we have a very big god in this land of kenya i can assure you children of god that in east africa we only have kenya and tanzania uh, we only have kenya a christian a christian country a christian nation a nation with the fear of the lord but there are things that we are suffering How how come that our people can be going to another nation looking for servants of God and yet we have people here we have men of God around we have servants of God around Kenya you are revived today Kenya revived today Kenya revived today Kenya revived today I know my voice may not be reaching to many people but whosoever to few people I will be reaching tonight I am telling you that if you allow God to use us if we allow the spirit of god to dwell in us and live in this revival and allow the revival to take place then miracles will happen and nations shall seek our god and people around the world will come to kenya looking for our god they will come to kenya looking for our god for they will hear from far there we hear from far and they will bow and they will come and worship our god if we allow the revival to take over the revival to take over karoji parabaha rokoji dererer vos karabaha nilabaha almighty god almighty god almighty god arise arise and shine this is our word today arise and shine children of god nobody will come and tell you to arise it is until yourself you arise even the revivalist they arose waliamuka tu wakasema tumechoka this and they shake they suck god's face wakatafuta uso wa bwana and once they got him 
Thus, they are doing all things that they are doing. I see a revived nation. I see a revived nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. Remember that the glory of God is the presence of God in our flesh. Moses said that if your presence, if your glory does not go in with us, we are not living here. Because he knew what the glory can do. What the glory can do. There are men of God. There are people of God. There are children of God. Even those who are watching me. After today, God is giving. God is installing a certain glory on you. You will be walking and people shall fear you. And kings shall fear you. And even demons shall tremble and bow out when they see you. Because you are the carrier of the glory of the, the king of kings. You are the carrier of the glory of the Lamb of God. You are the carrier of the glory of God. Lord, release now your glory on us. Lord, release now your glory on us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 5.14, Ephesians 5.14, the Bible says, Wake up. Uh, Ephesians 5.14, let us read the scripture. Oh my God, my God, my God. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep. Arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, how God, we thank you. How God, we praise you for the light, God, that you are giving unto us. For the light, God, that you are bringing in this nation of Kenya. For the light, God, that you are giving somebody who's watching me today. Lord, I thank you for that light, oh God. Father, we are so grateful. We are so grateful. Arise, give me the scripture. Give me the scripture. I am about to release the fire of the Lord. I am about to release the fire of the Lord. Give me Ephesians 5.14. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The light has come. The light has come. The light has come. Who is this light? Jesus Christ. Who is this class? Jesus Christ. Who is this light? Jesus Christ. Who is this light? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ to the center of everything. Jesus Christ to the center of all prophecies. Jesus Christ to the center of apostolic ministries. Jesus Christ to the center of evangelistic ministries. Jesus Christ to the center of every dominion. Every dominion. Jesus Christ to the center. That's what brings revival. Therefore, he says, Jesus himself says, I wake you who sleep. Arise from the dead. Oh, awake, Kenya. Awake, you are watching. Awake, Kevin Marshall. Awake, Fiona. You are watching from, uh, from UAE. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Nations, arise and shine. This is the generation of the carry of the power of God. The generation that preaches Jesus and Jesus alone. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the Bible says in Ephesians 5.14. Therefore he says, awake you who sleep. You have slept a lot. You have overslept. You are dozing. 
for so many days and now God want to, uh, to use you arise arise come out from sleeping arise come out from sleeping arise from the dead revival means what revival means bringing back to life bringing something that died to come back to life there are ministries that died in you as i'm speaking to you i am bringing them back to life come back to life in jesus mighty name there are dominion that died they no longer preach jesus arise and come back come back come arise from the dead in jesus mighty name and christ will give you light and christ will give you light and christ will give you light i am finishing with roman with john john chapter one where the bible said that is the light of the world in him was the light in him was the light arise from the dead and christ will give you light not juju uh -uh, juju will not give you light juju will take you to destruction but arise and christ will give you light uh -uh. Now, uh -uh, not that lying to people in a form of a prophet that will give you light uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. christ will give you light and once light comes things will be seen things will be seen our churches will be seen revival in our nation will be seen everything will be seen and many nations will come to kenya seeking god will come to your church looking for your god they will come to you looking for your god they will cross nation they will cross borders they will cross borders they will pay transportation they will pray they will pay they will be charged something for for them to reach you because you are revived and the light has come on you and the light of the holy spirit has come on you and right now wherever you are start welcoming his power arise and come out from the dead and the light will the light of the lord and christ the light will come and lighten your life john chapter one and verse three karo dobo robo robo John chapter 1 in verse 5. Let's start on verse 5. Rokojetrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabahandrobozikarabah
to fool those who they are leading. Lord, I pray tonight, when the revival comes, the mountain will be shaken, and everyone will receive his flame, and everyone will receive the flame in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that everyone who is watching right now, and everyone who is willing, and those who are praying in mountains, those who are in church right now, those who are watching us, oh Lord, why they are traveling, why they are in their homes, why they are in their businesses, when they are at their workplaces, why they are in their offices, Lord, I speak the fire to come on them. Lord, I speak the fire to come on them. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the fire to take the gospel to nation, the fire to take the gospel to another country, to another county, the fire to preach on street, in the mighty in the name of Jesus, Lord, revive our preachers, revive evangelists, to know that we will not wait for mega crusades, that we will reach one on one, that we will stand on streets, in junctions, Lord, in roundabouts, and revive of the Lord, and the gospel of Jesus shall be prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you and I bless you for this wonderful time. Only you are able to do exceedingly apparently above all that we could never imagine or thought. Lord, you are able. You are mighty. You are here with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All the glory. All the glory. Just wherever you are, just tell God now. God, I need you, Father. Just tell him, God, I need your fire. Tell him, God, I need your fire. I've been serving you, Lord, blindly. Thinking, thinking that, Lord, I can make it with my strength, with my knowledge. Thinking that I will make it with my understanding, with my own. But, God, I can never make it by my own. My life is not my own. To you I give praise, Lord. I give myself, I give myself away. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself away. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself away. Children of God, release now yourself to the Lord. Release yourself now to the Lord. Tell him now, God, I need you. Tell him now, God, I belong to you and I need your fire. Lord, I've been serving you, Lord, with my own strength. And now, Father, I want to be used by you. Lord, I've been faking things. And now, God, I don't anymore to fake things. I don't to be real. I don't, God, I, I want God to be real. I want Father to be real with you. And God is faithful. He will use you mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for your presence in our midst. Thank you for your presence in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Children of God, wherever you are watching right now and you would, give, you, you would wish to give your life to Jesus, you want to give your life to Jesus, maybe it's your first time to confess and you want to confess today. For the Bible says that whoever confesses his sins, he shall be forgiven. Just confess your sin to the Lord. Confess with your mouth and if you believe in, with your heart, that Christ died and God raised him from dead, then you will be saved. Salvation is available for you today. Asha it to you tonight and receive God. Come to the Lord. He is a good God. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. His burden is light and his yoke is light. Come to the Lord and give your life to Jesus today. 
wherever you are just confess this prayer with me if you want to to relate with god again to renew your relationship with god and you want to give your life to jesus give pray with me this prayer say dear lord i come before you i am a sinner forgive me have mercy on me lord I believe in my heart today that you died and God raised you from dead. And I confess with my mouth that I am saved. From today, God, write my name in the book of life and delete it in the book of the dead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the revival that you are bringing in my life today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I seal your salvation in the blood of the Lamb in Jesus name now that you are saved God bless you God bless you for those who have been watching us from wherever you have been watching us, may the Lord bless you and I welcome you once again to the Waves of Revival Online Fellowship every Thursday, every Thursday on lunch time, on lunch time. God bless you, God keep you, and God sustain you. Amen, amen, amen. So we are apologizing for those who saw the posters. We had the guests, but due to unavoidable circumstances, he was not able to reach us again. But next time, he'll be with us. God bless you, God keep you, and God sustain you. We're still welcoming people to the BMI, uh, Beatitude Ministry International, for the 40 days of prayer and fasting, seeking the face of the Lord. Come, we are here every, every, every day, six, every day at six. Come and enjoy God's presence and subscribe also to our YouTube channel at Pastor at Pastor Axon Nongo Pastor Axon Nongo subscribe to that channel and we'll be receiving the PMI services God bless you God keep you and God sustain I want also to remind this to our followers that on on third on third of April 2022 we are celebrating one year of existence Waves of revival we are celebrating one year now one year on third of April on third of April make sure you are following us so that you may be able we have many people be speaking to us and we'll be updating you as we go on God bless you God keep you and God sustain you I bless your night I bless your day in Jesus my name if you are sick may God heal you if you are oppressed may God do everything that you wish to do for your life to be well in Jesus name amen amen and amen see you next Thursday God bless you. Amen.